Uh, we also took on a decade ago uh, the interesting problem of making coronavirus uh, vaccines because we recognize these as enormous public health threats, and yet we have not seen the big pharma guys and the biotechs rushing in, into this space. So we, uh, we partnered with a group at the New York Blood Center and the Galveston National Laboratory to take on the big scientific challenge of coronavirus vaccines. And I say a scientific challenge because one of the things that we're not hearing a lot about is the unique potential safety problem of coronavirus vaccines. Uh, this was uh, first found in the early 1960s with the respiratory syncytial virus uh, vaccines, at and it was done here in Washington with the NIH and Children's National Medical Center that some of those kids who got the vaccine actually did worse and I believe there were two deaths as in, in the consequence of that study because what happens with certain types of respiratory virus vaccines, you get immunized, and then when you get actually exposed to the virus, you get this kind of paradoxical immune enhancement phenomenon. And, what ha and, and we, we don't entirely understand the basis of it, but we recognize that it's a real problem for certain respiratory virus vaccines. That killed the RSV program for decades, now the Gates Foundation is taking it up again. But when we started developing uh, coronavirus vaccines and our colleagues, we noticed in laboratory animals that they started to show some of the same immune pathology that resembled what had happened 50 years earlier. So, so we said, oh my God, this is gonna be problem.